Worlds will be shattered. Worlds will burn. Hey guys, it's Sacred Guardian. We are back in action. This is myself running through tier mode on ghost mode, and we will be leveling up from tier two to tier one, hopefully, without dying and unlocking the awesome gold exosuit. So stay tuned. I'll show you my route, exactly how I take it. I am going to do some cut and splices so it just condenses it down a little bit. You don't get the load screens and stuff like that, but I will be showing you each mission that I do, how I play it, and which missions I do in what order. So, without further ado, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get rolling. All right, guys, so we will be starting off with the mission in Inca Kamina, the Drug Lord's Ride. Just follow this exact route here. We'll need to spawn in a vehicle, and... This time it decided to spawn up on this hill instead of in its normal position. So of course it's going to make me take a few extra steps to get to it. But all the same. All right, so what we need to do is he head Go down ahead, over I'll this hill. Up. Shit, man down. Sometimes you got to run over your AI teammates so they can get out of your way. And you just go right down through here. Sometimes there will be stuff in this little area. Sometimes there won't. They, t they try to make a random spawn for you kind of thing. You just want to follow these railroad tracks, go into this base. Take right in to the base here. All right, park your truck, switch vehicles. Let's jack we this will ride. switch vehicles here. Fire. We need to be out of here. Engaging. I don't know why you guys are shooting at them. I think they're just trying to make me nervous. And then you just follow these railroad tracks out. That's a, the immediate left as soon as you come out of there. Stay quiet. You gotta watch out because sometimes there will be a train coming through here. And yes, it does happen when it's right at this bridge sometimes. So you want to be mindful of that. You can get off to the on the side. So up here, we're going to be taking this to the right. We'll come down these in between these buildings here. The train is coming, so I got to get off the tracks. Like I said, you got to keep your eyes up just in case. Staying right on the railroad path here. Just keep your eyes forward watching for that train so that you do not smack head first into that. That's the big thing that keeps you alive on this mission. Other than that, it's just driving. And as long as you can drive, you don't even have to drive that fast after you get out of the base. Now, that little railroad crossing that we passed up there, that sometimes will get bogged down because there's always a convoy that's going to be coming through there and that convoy will sometimes be stopped right there at the railroad tracks. Now, as we come up here on this area, we're just gonna follow this railroad tracks until we get to this little dirt road up here in the town. We're gonna take a hard left here and park the car. After you park the car, it's very crucial that you pay attention to your surroundings because the game likes to throw freaking Unidad there. After this mission's over, sometimes Unidad will be spawned right here somewhere so just keep your eyes peeled for Unidad. They they like to throw those in there just to kill you. Since it's ghost mode, you know, a death is very, very Wrapped up crucial nice here. Pretty for the DEA. So just shit, run around, take a look, make sure there's no Santa Unidad Black, sitting here looking you in the face. Narcos. Now what you're going to want to do is Bowman's spawn up done. a helicopter. A My helicopter of choice is going to be the Bravo. Gatling helicopter. Their bosses will use this to demand more. Yeah, link chopper. Elsuenio. There it is. Elsuenio will tell the it should spawn up. See, look at that. Everybody look at that. Away. I told you. They spawn up Except us. like we that. They want to kill you no so bad with this. Hang back. They, see you. Look they constantly there. want to Wouldn't kill take you. Much to push these assholes over the edge, I bet. I'm moving to position. I need to get a better position. Oh, yeah. We got your helicopter. I've got the tar target acquired. Ready to engage. Loving a flashbang. 
Okay, there we go. Had to make short change of those guys. Want to get okay, a fresh cool, reload cool. and maybe some ammo? Yep, full ammo. There we go. So now we're going to run good. to our chopper here. That's, the, that's exactly why I warned you that those guys would be there because sometimes they will stop there. And yes, I have ran into them and oh, almost died because of them. I went down but did not completely bleed out. Learn from my mistakes. That's what makes you wise. We've got coordinates on several downed airplanes loaded with Peruvian cocaine intended for the cartel. So the, crash sites the next mission the that we want to pull up is Inca Camina, Eastern Plain. And then you hop into your helicopter. And if my controller would turn to the right, we, we could actually see what we're looking for. There we go. Thank you, controller. And I land right behind this rock. I land right here on the snow-capped area. And then I run up these rocks, pull out the drone, and scout everyone. Because this plane part is right here. There's some wings and stuff right here. That's how I know my spot. And I always play with my buddies here. All right, so let's see here. Make sure I've got everybody highlighted here. Target spotted. Okay, those guys are ready to engage, so we'll take them out. Make sure no one steps Target out. Down. All right, so we're going to move in now. I think I'm going to take advantage of some more team shots. We're late. We got Santa Blanca at the crash site. Got to be quick with your shooting on this one. Okay, we're still By the time right. you get to this one on tier tier two, it's uh. It's very, uh, uh, what's the word? They will detect you very quickly and kill you very quickly by this time. Okay, I think that's everyone. So switch to grenade launcher. Take out okay, each of these. Okay. And I like to finish off with a grenade right here. It's going oh, it's a flashbang. And I like to finish off with a grenade on this one at the top of the hill. Do that Drag and out. run away. Get a fresh reload and head back to the chopper. I like to pull up my next mission at this point. We'll still be in Inca Camino. We will go, go to Southern Plain. So as we fly into this next area on Southern Plain here in Inca Camino, I aim over to land. There's a rock just over these hills. It's to the left of this arrow as you're flying there from this other mission. There'll be like a rock that gives you a little nice somewhat of a flat surface to land on and I land about in the middle of this big flat rock here just about always it's, it's always safe right there I run down here to around where this red flag is I take a prone position throw up the drone and do a little scouting I'm getting in position. sometimes there's three guys there and you can take it full advantage of your sink shot and sometimes you can't and I highly encourage you that Target even though down. you're still scouting, Enemy if they're ready to take the shots cool. and it's We're safe cool. to do so, go ahead and take those shots because by the time you finish scouting them out, pull your drone back in, let it charge up. You're halfway charged to the next drone if you, or your next sink shot if you need it. That was close. And same thing here, you want to be kind of on the move, quick with your shots, light on your feet, move in and take control of it. The last guy's going to be carrying a box in this area. And then usually you've got two more up here. Cartel's it's already it's here. worth it for you to run, run closer, and get a better head. shot, because in, in this mode, you do not want to die. You don't want to have any stupid deaths. Um, you can take full advantage of your sink shots and stuff like that. Because it is not worth dying. It's better to go in here, get a clean shot, switch to everything that you need to, and take out all the good stuff. If they didn't know something was up before, they sure as hell do now. They've seen us. All right, I'm gonna have to hit this last one with a grenade. For us. We're good. We all in one piece. Frag out. All right, and like that, mission is over. Cargo so we destroyed. let everything load in here a little bit. 
And last mission that we'll be doing in Inca Camina is La Cabra. This one you don't even have to leave your spawn point. So we let we the mission load up. Cabra is we go to Nuevo Mundo. Counterpart. Crash the meeting. All right, guys. So we spawned in here to Nuevo Mundo. You just want to run out to the edge of this rock. You don't even have to leave your spawn for this mission. It's so nice. You just have to make sure that you've got, got a, tango. Um, to position. a couple skills unlocked. Spotting another tango. I need uh, you definitely position. want max range when you're drone, that kind of thing. And Unidad's going to want to be target. in here as well, of course. And I like to just mark three Great random blokes and the get a little extra points. When you've got a booster on, you can get almost two grand right. extra points just from marking people. So pull in the mortar. Let all three fire. mortars go. Okay. One, two, three, four. Engage on the sink shot. Out of drone. Negotiator's down. He's dead. HVT is down. And there we go. Cobra is down. Just about 9,000 or a little more than 9,000 XP on, on that one for that. And then we want to go to Gabriela in Mohokoya. It's the only mission in Mohokoya that we will be doing. So we go ahead and pull that up. Let that Antonio's load in. Wife, now we want to drive out of cartel. sight. If we extract her, she might be able to help fill and in. And once we get out of sight, we're hunted at this point, and we're out of sight. So now we can fast travel. We want to go to Mohokoya Bravo. All right, guys. So now we have spawned in Mohokoya Bravo. You just want to go to the nearest helicopter that you have here, because usually there's one, if not two. You got any helicopters unlocked after market type of thing? Just grab the helicopter. Be it. very Stop careful running. with the helicopter, how you maneuver and how you land and that kind of stuff, because this is my number one complaint in ghost mode is you can glitch through the map so easily with one of these things. So Let's ride. perform with extra caution when you use a helicopter in ghost mode. So when you come up here to the church, you want to land right at the front door. And you want to turn your passenger door so that's exactly waiting for Gabriella. Because she likes to hop in the chopper nice and quick to help out this mission. They've done a good job. Take time, line up, and make sure you're on the right lane. Because there will be a guy that comes around this corner right here as soon as you talk to her and you come back, usually. There might be some intel around here. All right, here. so we did this. Stay behind me. Oh, well, we're lucky. This time it didn't come through. A lot of times there's a car that comes around that corner and has ran me over before. She usually is pretty quick. There's that car. It was late. She usually is pretty quick about hopping in the chopper. So once she, as soon as she hops in the chopper, take off with that bad boy. Get out of there and be safe. Get clear. I land here just left of the arrow behind the base on this little dirt path and she'll get out of the plane so you don't have to worry about our chopper she'll get out of the chopper you don't have to worry about that she'll get out and then you just run over and extract now when this begins playing you want to give it three to four or five seconds before you actually get out of it because if you're playing like i am on ps4 it can glitch out give you a blue screen and ruin your character i've had that happen before so Take your time with it, let it load up a little bit, and then exit out of it. That's my advice to you. Learn from my mistakes. Right, so that's all we need in Mohokoya. We will be moving to Espiritu Santo and starting with the advisor. Once this mission loads up, we'll be bringing up our mini-map again. And the fast travel location that I like to go to because I like to use a helicopter. You can go to Alta Gracia and spawn in a car if you feel more confident with a car than you do a helicopter, but there's always a, holo a helicopter spawn at Espiritu Santo Alpha. So I like to go to Espiritu Santo Alpha and grab that helicopter for these missions. All right, as you spawn in here to Espiritu Santo, there's always going to be a medical supply here. I suggest you take it. We'll it's free, like 50 points, 60 later. points, and it gives you a little bit of supplies if you need it. Hop into your helicopter and fly over. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. Come on. Now, when I'm flying over, I aim for a couple little palm trees. There is a little bit of a clearing between some greenery and these palm trees here. I use those kind of like goalposts to find where I need to land my kick, so to speak, here.
And then I land right here in this little mossy area. Make sure you have the explosive drone unlocked for this. Yo, Sicario with a submachine I go gun. ahead and mark Stand a couple right. of these <laughs> just to get, get an extra sniper. point or two. Got eyes on our target. Probably the man running the place on behalf of the cartel. And now I switch to drone. That they're ready drone to take up. their sink shot. Can't see squat. The drone's being jammed. Kill him like that. They will sink shot the other two, and then no, we can get well the heck out of Dodge. That easy. That quick. Any word on how the Sicarios are reacting? With a lot of crying. So now the second mission that we want to do in this province is called Gold Rush North. We'll let that load in. Cursing. And we can fly straight from here in our helicopter right over. The cartel's morale is the Just lowest be mindful of where your tree limbs are. Out. You do not want to be caught by those tree limbs as you come up. Or that helicopter for that matter. So when we get down here, it's uh, I'm aiming for just left of that arrow. There's a large tree. And then there's a little clearing between this large tree and the other large, and this palm tree here. So you can go right here. It gives you a nice takeoff route when you land and you need to take off after this mission. So I find this tree, take a prone position, pull the drone out. Some kind of mine. Let's cartel run. A gold mine mark these guys for a sink shot. And then while the sink shots are getting ready, I go around and mark other people for extra points. That's 10 targets. Target spotted. All right, that's uh, I count 15 of them. I'm gonna go ahead and take that sink shot so that it can sit there and pull that back up. Okay, and now I like to go inside the cave here in the mine and see if I can find anybody in this mine. Luckily, I found one of them in this mine, and I also have rebel spotting, so I'm gonna take advantage of that as well. Now I know exactly where those two are that I need to take out in here. Now, one thing is you're running in here. Be very, very mindful of a generator that's behind this minigun. That generator will blow up if you run past it. If you run past it too swiftly, too quickly, this one right here, if you run past that or shoot anywhere close to it, it will explode and set everybody on you like white on rice type of thing. Now we gotta get out of here. Holy shit, the whole place is about to collapse. Let's get the hell out of here now. So shoot, shoot, throw a grenade. And then I run like heck to get out of there. I don't want any of those tangos that we spotted earlier to find us. That's for sure. Go ahead and get in the helicopter, get ready to take off. Awesome sauce. Hey man, try to take us out. All up. right, so now the next and, la and last mission I like to do at this time is La Santera. All right, so we take off nice and easy, straight up. Let's get to her first and And we head over here to, there's a another couple palm trees. It's funny how everything's by these palm trees, but there, there's a rock and a palm tree that I like to land between over here. It makes a really nice, easy escape route for you. All right. So just right of her king crown type of thing, there is a jammer here. And you want to land just behind the rock where the jammer is. There's going to be two heavies that are around this corner. You're in your third person look. There's one. There's two. Enemy marked. Now we just want to move Gun in and take tango. these guys out nice and quickly. We don't want to alert anybody else. And definitely don't want to alert these guys. Just nice and quickly. Pop, pop. About halfway okay, through the whoa. building. We come up here. We hit okay, our rebel target. spotting. She is. Got it. Moving. Let me find a good position. Roger. Target marked. Mark them. Copy. Once they are Target ready, marked. take them out with the sink shot. That tangle's done. Shoot the lock. The grab her and the get the heck out of Dodge. Of Make it nice and quick and easy. We did all this work to get her here. Seems a shame to rescue. <gasps> Amen to that. 
now as we have this long walk, what seems like anyway. Now, if you don't have rebel spotting, you can land right here, take that jammer down, and then you can mark stuff with your drone. That's another way to do everything. And that's how you do it if you don't have the rebel spotting. It helps tremendously. But you can just walk her right up here, throw her in the helicopter. This is the same parking spot if you're driving on land, too, with a truck or a car or something. If you can get to this spot, this is a perfect little spot. So here, you just want to get the helicopter off the ground just a little bit, fly over top of the rock. All right. And just nice and easy, channel out. Should be good to go. Right over here to the extraction point. All right, guys, so as you're coming in to the rally point here, you want to fly just a hair past it, aim for this rock, and pull yourself back to the dirt road. Nice easy spot liar. there. If Instead you get too close to those Santa trees, Santa they will explode your propellers. Seems like Santa Morite rides with us now. Same thing here with this. You want to wait three to five seconds before you actually pull yourself out of the Santa cinematic. Santa Morite is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. Wrap your wings around me. Per right, so that concludes this part of Espiritu Santo. If we need another mission later on, I have one that I come back to and I can show you that real quick. It will be the soldiers of Santa Muerte, but we may have to come back to it anyway. So I'm gonna wait. So now what we got, what we do is we go over to Kiwani, and I want to go to the truck depot. And then once it loads up, you'll pull your mini map back up and spawn into a little place called Huertas, and this will spawn you like 15 feet from your objective. It's fantastic. As now that we have spawned into Huertas, you just turn to your right, coming up on the truck and you're depot at now. the truck depot. Remember, we don't want Santa Blanca to know. We I like to stay to up it. on this big rock here. Security is tight. Take a prone position to get a and scout to it out with your drone. Drone is airborne. All right, we got a heavy. Enemy spotted. I see a second target. Usually another heavy here. The guards are letting cartel vehicles inside without inspecting and them. That could be our way in. There's usually one in this pillbox. Fall back to the road, hijack a car there he is. truck, and roll into the depot. Or make Spot sure you spawn. Cartel trucks outside the depot. Let's do this. And I like to do a last thing just to double check myself because I know there's the some more people in here. The area. And we do like that. So now I just like to sneak in here nice and easy, take my time with it. Now I head around this a little quickly here. I noticed that there's a lot of people congested in that one area. So what I like to do if they're con congested in that one little little area is I come out here and I go after this generator first. Take out the generator. So the generator part is done. And then another thing I like to do is I, I, I look for the people who segregate themselves from the group. And I take them out first. That was fucking close. I got one narco near the truck. Now it's just a waiting game. I gotta wait for the guys to move into position the way I want them. Looks like they're not moving too much right now. I'm hoping they'll move here soon. Two Sicarios by the stack of tires. And one left. Oh, 
Now we can take a picture of our documents. It's like Watch transit out. schedules and smuggling routes through the province. This is what we're looking for. So like I said, guys, you, you wait for the cluster to break apart. If there's a few that you can find that are off by themselves, you go you go get those guys first. Need. Let's clear out. You can turn this mission very easy if you do that. Nice and patient moves. And then the last thing you want to do is ride out of here on a stupid motorcycle just to hit a bump and fly off of it and kill yourself. Then you want to come up here, take out the heavy, and then just simply run right up the ramp and out the back. Nice and easy, lemon squeezy. Outstanding work, Kalani. All right, now that that's loaded, pull up your mini map, pull up the next mission before you get too close, which will be the convoy, which spawns about 600 meters to the west of you or the south of you. You're gonna switch to your grenade launcher. What about the and come up here to about around this range and just start firing away. Hopefully you hit one. Notify and look at that. First shot, we're out. Nice. The locals too. Santa Blanca employed a hell of a lot of people to operate. Alright, the next mission we're gonna be looking for is called the Undertakers. So we'll go ahead and let that load up and then we can run away and get our hunted notification off. Keep that in mind. Nomad out. Convoys destroyed. Of course we lost the guy to the train because the they can't look both Entire ways before they cross the street. Alarm. I'm pushing the intel to as soon as this hunted goes away, we will spawn up on distribution network. the rebel base, Kawani Bravo. All right, now that we have spawned in Kawani Bravo, pull up your favorite vehicle to drive around in. Mine, of course, is the trophy truck. I asked Pat to send it's going to spawn up right here in this location. All right, so after you grab this vehicle, we're going to head straight over. There's going to be three guys that you have to take out. So just follow this exact route here it's a nice straight route <laughs> it's very easy to get to there'll be some uh, like sandbags and rubble or something like that that I parked behind all right and then there's some rubble here and there's gonna be a guy that's right here where the rubble is I'm gonna go ahead and try to mark his character I know where he is there's usually a guy over here but he's gonna be standing up against the wall on the building there so I just basically lean around here, wait for him to see me. There's another one over here. Just spotted one with submachine guns. They're gonna spot you back up. Target marked. Keep an eye on your back. And then we can grab a fresh reload and grab a fresh mag from this guy. Come over here. We got civilians danger close. Check your targets before you shoot. All right. He's not one to show his face very good. The drone is up. Huh? He's in this. Get back before they make He's in you. this room here. I've got there eyes on Carlos. There we go. Now we can get back over to our vehicle and wait for him to come out, him. and then we can Let's tail him to spook. the next location. We just need to hang back and let him lead us to his brother. Now, when you're tailing this guy, you don't want to get within 150 meters. You want to stay nice and safe range from him. Go ahead without me. Man, you'll never let me drive anymore. Just because that one time. So just wait for him to get to his vehicle and take off. And as long as you stay within 300 meters of this guy, you won't get the warning saying he's too far away or whatever. You can, you can just sit here and be nice and nonchalant. Now I will say if you cross a convoy or Unidad or something like that, you can get off of the road as much as you want just stay within 300 meters like if you stay within 250 meters of the guy you won't get the you won't get the he's too far away sign so see he's at 310 309 to 310 which is too far away and it's giving me that so we've got unidad that's coming up here as long as we speed past the unidad vehicle they're not going to find us it's going to be good you just don't want to be like sitting still and let them come across from you because you're waiting on the guy to go or something like that Just take your time, tail this guy. You don't want to get caught off guard. And then when he gets past this, he'll take a left-hand turn up here. When he takes that left-hand turn, you can blast it. And we'll go straight through and go right into the, to the bush. 
in the what in the little bit of vegetation around. All right, he's gone, and we're gonna book it now. We're gonna hit right over here, and we're gonna go back here to these little containers. And there's there's gonna be a guy that's next to these little porter johns in the back. You can see his head sticking out right over here, and done. Got another tango. Nice center of the mass. Hostiles in the area. Another thing you want to grab is go into this little building. Okay, Every time go. you go in here, there's going to be Amanda? some food supply. Gotta be. These no lows are the fucking undertakers. The ones all the locals are so scared of. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to take now? a position behind grab these bags Amanda of get him to tell us where Reed's hiding. salt. What about Carlos? Fuck him. We got He's a dude just an here. Obstacle now. Hernando's the one we want. Two Copy dudes that. are right here behind this truck. And baby makes three. I'm going to go and ahead and mark this five. heavy. And the snipers. Good Sniper position. The Target marked. Roger, and there should be another wired. heavy back here. Somewheres. Where are you at, bub? Where are you at? There he is. Alright, so now I want to make sure everybody gets tagged. Once they get tagged, throw this guy. Alright, so that's clear. We've got some more scouting to do. Got a guy here, got a guy there, and usually another heavy at the gate here. So now, do some rebel spotting just to make sure I didn't miss anything. I missed two inside that building. Awesome sauce. So now, we just need to take this guy out. Okay. Now we need to go over here and take this guy out to the right. <clears throat> I kind of let them see me because they stop in their tracks. We're good, we're good. And that gives me a nice clear open shot on them. Alright, I'm going to get a reload in here. I'd like to have more than 15 okay, bullets for this. Alright. This is when I switch to a flashbang and wait for my chance to take these guys out here. Actually, let's take this heavy out real quick. Civilians in the area. Watch your targets. Hold up. Doing a flashbang. Got another one here. Loving a flashbang. Okay, we're cool. Take yeah, him out. Away. Put the hornet's nest. Take him out, and we can do the interrogation now. Easy. Come in. I think that's all of him. Holy butter! What is this? Who the fuck are you? Where's Reed? Who? I got no idea who that is. Don't bullshit me, Hernando. You either tell me where I can find Reed, or I make sure El Sueño knows all about your little human trafficking ring. I don't know where Reed is. Fucker never shows his face unless he's got a shipment to make, or there's some kind of emergency. I think this qualifies as an emergency, don't you? There's a special code. I enter it into a laptop at the airstrip. Reed gets the signal and comes to the airfield. That's it. Give me the code, then tell me where I can find this airfield. There we go. There's our quick and easy tier points. Now, spawn in your vehicle. It should spawn right here to the left a little bit. Right there perfectly. And the next mission we're going to be hitting up is called Boston Reed. We'll let that load up, hop in our vehicle, and we'll drive straight the there. Code we need to draw Reed out of hiding. All right, so as we drive up in here, it's basically a straight shot from the last mission. There's an old rusty truck here, just slightly left of the arrow. And that's where I like to take my parking spot. Call in my drone, Coming that up kind on the of stuff. Now. There's usually a heavy that's going to be right behind it. So I like to take him out nice and easy, but make sure you get him marked first. Marking an enemy. All right. Throw the drone out. Look around, see what you can find. We're good to go. <clears throat> All these Don't extra points tango. really add up. Target. I mean, that's that's like 30 that points five. a piece. That, that adds up a lot over time. Got a tango. For sure. All right, so we need this guy Got out, that guy Got out, and... Got the target. Take this guy Hold out. Up. Let me get a good Roger. sight line. Target acquired. Say the word, boss. Target 
eliminated. All right. All of those guys are out. Okay. There's the I got one bullet left. To read. Let's get a reload in then, shall we? We're cool, we're cool. Get a little bit of cover so that they don't see me here. They're throwing a flashbang. And done. All right, we'll get us a reload in. Got an ammo box we can refresh with. Clear on my side. Heck yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, so it takes him a while, so I'm going to go ahead and call him in. I it the takes him a while to get close Please enough to where we have a good shot on him. him. He'll show up any second. Set up for the ambush. So now that he's pulling in, we're going to grab this. We're going to grab this. And one more supplies. here. A lot of goodwill from the rebels. And we'll take a park right here. Get our trusty, rusty, what is it called? M203 grenade launcher out. Targeting coming. We'll be Get ready. waiting on this guy. I'm going to mark him. And when he gets close enough, there we go. Nice. When this guy gets within a couple hundred meters, I'll, I'll feel confident with the shot to take it. He's about, he's getting there. About 250 or so. Helicopter incoming. B30. He's getting there. Back off just a hair. <clears throat> and get just a little bit closer. And here we go. That one. Firing. He down. Let's notify Bowman. Bowman. Boston Reed is no longer on the plane board. Okay. That should be it. We good. Everybody clear? All right. So the last mission that I'm going to do is in Romanzo, and it will be the Mule Doctors. Now that that is loaded up, there's a town called Markavi, and we can spawn right into Markavi, which will be about 300, 350 meters out from where we need to be. <clears throat> All right. So now that we've spawned in Markavi here, we're about 400 meters or so away, so that's not too bad. And all I want to do is I want to get within, I don't know, a couple couple hundred meters, 250, somewhere in there. We don't have to be too close to them. This is good. This is good right here where this tree is. We want to go up here. We're going to scout out and get as many points taken care of as we can by scouting these guys out. Guns. I got a third. He makes five. Hey, see that building up there? Uh, Looks like a methadone yeah. clinic. Is that everybody? Used to be the Markavi Town Dispensary. It? It's where the cartel loads its mules up. Another one here. Make them swallow What's them? that? Or Nobody. Okay. Basically, you got an orifice. All right, and we're going to go ahead and scout these when fellas out. When they run out of holes, there's always the surgical method. Because there's always a bunch of people here. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to fly the drone in, use an explosive drone to kill someone. So there's one. Now that I know where the doctors are, Moving to position to get I get them lined in and just wait. <clears throat> as soon as they find their shots on these guys, I've got the tar Shit, the they spotted us. take targets. those out. Cartel Done. Are down. There it is. Complete. You've leveled up. Closed. Let's put a there you go. Let's get out of here. Excellent work in Romasso. Tier Cartel one, baby. Let's go. Exosuit. Let's go. Booyah. Super excited. All right, so let's uh, let's just get out of here to a different area. We'll go to, um, we'll go here. We'll go Aqua Verde Alpha. We'll get out here on the middle of the water. That's it. Yes, baby. Gold Exo. We did it. Gold Exo suit. Let's, let's take a look at it. There's something I want to do, though. I love my LVOAC bad news. Probably my favorite gun in the game. But I have to say, I have a gun that I used all the way. It's this new 416, not the P416, but the new 416. Right here. Booyah, baby. You have reached the highest tier. Welcome to tier one, Div Sacred. Booyah, baby. Yes, yes, yes.
All right, let's see. We need... I guess we can just roll with black for right now. That's fine. There it is. Look at that. Beautiful gold. Got the XO pants. Got to have the XO gold there. Got to have the XO gold on the shoes, baby. Yes. Yes, I'm excited. Got the exoskeleton helmet with gold. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. Now we need the backpack. Get the gold exo spine, baby. There's not a whole lot of gold on it, but man, does that look sweet now that we've unlocked it. Booyah! That's awesome. And now, to accent that, we're gonna throw in our gold paint job here. We also have our unlocked gray python here. We could use the gray python for, exo for tier one, but I think I'm gonna go straight for the gold. Make it match my new suit, dude. I think that's where it needs to be. Where are you? Gold. Renew the paint. Look at that. Look at that beautiful EXO. Let's take a look at it like this. There's full screen. Full screen EXO, everyone. Look at that. Heck yes. That's beautiful. Well, guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been me unlocking the gold exosuit, reaching tier one ghost mode, no deaths all the way. Booyah, baby. We finally got there. Had to spend a lot of boosters, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into making this. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this if you want to see more content like this. Ghost Recon is hopefully going to be taken off for us and, and get us some good new content they've got uh plenty of new guns and weapons that i'm trying to t try out and we also have to try to get somehow 999 um prestige levels it's probably never going to happen but that's the next grind that we got to try and attempt and see how far we can get anyways without further ado my name is sacred i'd like to thank you all for watching and remember as always everyone it's not how many you kill it's how many you save